Hey guys, welcome back and this is me Tarun and today I'm going to be talking about Shah Jahan the third and Shah Alam the second. Shah Jahan the third was also known as Mohi ul Milat and he was a, a Mughal emperor for a brief time. He reigned from 1711 to 1772. He was the son of Muhi Usin Sunnat, the eldest son of Muhammad Kambaksh, who was the youngest son of Aurangzeb. He was placed on the Mughal throne in December 1759 as a result of the details in Delhi with the help of Imad ul Mulk. He was later deposed by the Maratha Sardars. Now let's talk about Shah Alam the second. His original name is Ali Gohar. Uh, he was born in June 15, 1728 in Delhi, India and died in November 10, 1806 in Delhi. He was a minor Mughal emperor of India from 1759 to 1806. Son of the emperor Alamgir II, he was forced to flee Delhi by the Minister Imad ul Mulk in the year 1758. He was kept a he was kept the emperor as a virtual prisoner. He took refuge with Shuja al Dola, who was the Nawab of Ud, also known as Ayodhya, and after his father's assassination in 1759, he proclaimed himself emperor. With the intention of seeking to capture Delhi, he demanded tribute from Bihar and Bengal and there came into conflict with the East India Company. After Shuja al defeat at Buxar, which is in modern Bihar state, in 1764, however, Shah Alam became the company's pensioner, in return for which he legalized the, the company's positions in Bengal, Bihar, and Orissa in 1765 by granting the right co to collect revenue. Comfortably settled at the city of Allahabad, he saw Delhi and in 1771 an agreement with the Maratha people of Western India returned it to him. During 1772 to 1778, his minister Najab Khan asserted imperial authority over the Delhi territory from the Satlej to the Chambal River and from the state of Jaipur to the Ganges, also known as Ganga River. In 1788, however, the chief of Rohilas, which were warlike Afghan tribes, settled in India. Ghulam Qadir seized Delhi and enraged that his failure to find treasure blinded Shah Alam. Shah Alam spent his last years under the protection of the Maratha chief Sindhya and after the second Maratha war in 1603 to 1605 of the British with power only inside his palace he saved more than a million rupees in his treasury. He was called the King of Delhi by the British who issued coins bearing his name for 30 years after his death. Please like, share and subscribe and check out my blog whose link you can see in the screen in front of you. Thanks for watching and see you guys.